Sorry guys, I got cut off mid-sentence in that last video, so uh, we can't get to this cave that we couldn't find, and honestly, I don't know who would see this unless they were searching, like, uh, every nook and cranny of this game, but yeah, there is the abandoned cave over here, but we gotta get there through this right here. Boom. Here's the other cave. I wish it wasn't a cave. I wish it was a tunnel, but... Beggars can't be choosers. And it's in this uh, cave that we're going to find the... Uh, the talisman. So, let's... Uh, let's get ready for that. Let's get... Um, get rid of the oil pots and we're gonna need these I'm assuming because we're in Kaled and there's just a bunch of scarlet rot everywhere as you can see so we opened up that grace uh, yeah dude we can't run through this and this is gonna give us scarlet rot Oh, this thing better not attack me. Oh, it's broken, okay. Oh, we're gonna need our... trusty dusty handy dandy... lantern. Dude, I have a feeling like one of these is gonna be in here. Okay, it looks like we could've gone down that area. Instead of coming this way, we could have just gone down. Uh, I want to double check and make sure that is the case. Rather than missing something. Okay, so there's an item over here. That we did not get. Two items. Dragon Wound Grease. Crap. 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 Yeah, we're gonna die a lot in here, I, I have a feeling. See Jaren right there? It's uh, funny, you see him in the beginning before you select your game. You can see him uh, on the Elden Ring game icon on your, if you have PlayStation or Xbox, whatever it is. The icon is like Elden Ring and it shows the picture of the guy has a uh, stabbing his sword into the ground there's bodies all around him and Jiren is one of them and uh I Esha I Asha the guy who was in the skeleton armor at the round table hold he's actually over there too on the ground next to him okay um let's go ahead and make that um let's go ahead and make more of these Oh, I can make 40 of them. No, let's not make 40 of them, let's make half of them. I like these because you can throw them from a distance. Oh, I've already got 10 of them. Okay, um... Equipment. We are going to need to... put something else on. Something that helps with immunity. We need the immunizing horn charm plus, uh... It's not that much of a boost. Okay, this one puts it to 428. This one does 398. So this one is definitely better. So this one's going to give us higher immunity. We need that. I do not want to use all my boluses in here. Yeah, I really don't want to use all my boluses in here. 
because I don't know where the sacramental buds are anymore. And once they're gone, they're gone. Because sacramental buds aren't a renewable item source. Or crafting material, whatever. Let's put these on. Kill from a distance. Okay, uh, I want that item, but all this exploding crap is gonna be the death of me. Serpent bow. Cool. That's something I did not have. I wonder if it does poison damage. Or adds poison damage. Oh, I hate you guys. Fire grease. Oh, I, yeah, I forgot that fire is a uh, good against Scarlet Rot. Oh, I hate these things. And they do rot damage. Sorry. Aeonian butterflies are really, uh, it's hard to find a good, uh, farming spot for these things. Alright, dude. He almost got me with some Scarlet Rot, too. And poison. Annoying ass thing. Okay. Yeah, I just have a feeling I'm gonna find one of these things in here, and I don't want to deal with that. Venomous Fang. Cool. Can I craft more of those? No, I can't. I need... Dude, great dragonfly heads are annoying to find. Those things fly around, and they're not easy to catch, and you have to kind of jump sometimes to try to attack them or run up on them before they fly away. Okay. That immunizing horn is doing us some, you know... Giving us a solid buff, and I like it. Real quick. Um, yeah, let's craft. Might as well just craft for the rest of them. This seems are really handy. Craft those two. Okay, so now we just gotta go in here and fight the boss. And the item I'm assuming we're looking for is in here. In Sepulchre. Boom. Uh, heal real quick go in here and summon Mimic just in case because I don't know what we're in store for. The Clean Rot Knight. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh, multiple ones. Okay, Sickle and Spear. Golden Scarab. Perfect. This was a good area to farm those butterflies too. So we did that. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here, so we're just gonna leave the cave. Sweet though, we did it. That golden scarab uh, is something we're gonna want to uh, have on all the time, I think. So what we're gonna do is 
I'm gonna find it, and we're gonna, there it is. I'm assuming that there's different scarab ones. Increases runes obtained from defeated enemies. So put that on real quick. Noise. Okay. <clears throat> it's 12.40, I gotta go to bed soon. I gotta wake up for work at 7 o'clock, 7.30. Okay, let's see. Graven Mask Talisman. I think I have the Graven Mask. Yep. Wait a minute, I don't remember that merchant. So there's supposedly another merchant right down here. Show me. Come on, show me where this guy is. Yeah, he's he's at the bottom, like right here. So we're going to come right here to this gate and we're going to go down and uh, we're going to find this other merchant because he sells stone sword keys and those are very, very useful and he should be right down here or at the bottom somewhere. Yeah, I... Uh, There's a big fire dude in here, too. Gotcha. Oh, cool, fire blossoms. Okay, I've never actually walked through this town because of that giant uh, wheelie fire spitty guy. So, um, real quick, I'm just gonna check about because I have not fully searched this area, like... I've never been on these rooftops either. I'm, I'm assuming there might be a, an item or something somewhere, but I've never been truly through this area to pick stuff up and just walk about. So there could be some items and things that we missed. I'm just one-shotting everybody. Where he paused was like right here. And there's supposedly a grace right here too. So we'll we'll drop down. Not drop down, but you know what I mean. We'll go down and uh we'll see. Look, there's an item right there. Um, hello? Shatterhead arrows. So, those arrows, I thought they were kind of stupid or useless. But they are not magic arrows. They are... 
distraction type arrows. When you shoot them, they make a sound and it'll draw the enemies to that noise. So that you can like sneak by powerful enemies or you know it you know the possibilities are endless okay just making sure we're not missing any items as we mosey on through here okay so yeah there should be a merchant like right over here somewhere I'm not 100% sure where this merchant is. From what I saw, he was like on the map like right around here somewhere. So let's uh, check around for this merchant. seeing a guy around here there's one of those things those are fun and he saw me yeah it's oh look at that wouldn't you know it thank you Yeah, there should be a site of grace like right around here. Oh, there it is. And the merchant is like right, like right here, like on the shore, like right here somewhere. Okay, so... From what I saw, he should be like right around here. Like I've said a few times, like I've definitely not checked this whole, uh, this whole area of Rhea Lucaria, or Liarnia, sorry. Okay, and it doesn't look like uh, either I'm not in the right, yeah, I'm not in the right area anymore. I just, I just passed it up. Like, it's, oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, he should be right over here somewhere. And come on. <coughs> like he's supposed to be like right here. These guys usually aren't out in the open either. They're like usually in a hiding spot. Unless. Let's see if I can pause this video right where I want to pause. Oh, dude, he's, uh... A... 
Okay, I know where the merchant is now. So, I am such an idiot. Okay, so, um, we're actually gonna go to... Is it this one? Okay, right here. So, we can actually ride through here. This is the reason I haven't... The reason I didn't ride through here before is because I thought you couldn't. I thought you had to walk through the gate. So, yeah. Shame on me for not, uh, truly, you know, searching this entirety of the game. Because the merchant is... Shame on me. Stop it. Stop your howling. Quit that barking. You ain't gonna do nothing. Ooh, might as well grab that. Yep, here we go. This is the merchant that I missed. Dude, here we go. The Fanged Imp, Ash of War, Tina's Lilies, Eye of Yellow. I don't know what that's for, but I'm going to grab it. Boom, another cookbook. St. Trina's Arrows. Meteor Bolts. Blue. What? Is this, like... Is this magic gear, or...? Ah, oh, sacrificial twigs! We're gonna... We're gonna... Oh, you know what? We could just sell the items to him. It's a lot faster than trying to pop them all. Dang! Let's see, let's, uh... Let's go over here real quick, because um, we're not going to be ever using regular Roa. We do need to go get some frozen ones, but as of right now, I don't think I'm ever going to use regular ones again. Uh, Fulgur Blooms. I don't think those are rare. These are definitely not rare. But uh, we'll hold on to them. These, these are abund in abundance in the frozen like wasteland area. Yeah. Ba -doom. Ba -doom. Ba -doom. Yeah, see, this is what I meant by uh, you can get serious cash by just selling items that you pick up off the ground. You really don't need all these items either. Like, it's honestly such a lucrative thing to just come through pick a bunch of stuff up and then just sell it. Ooh, yeah, we're not selling that many. But you see how I mean? Like, all these, and the really good items and ones that are hard to get are worth more, like Beast Blood, the Stormhawk Feathers, um, the Budding Horn. These are hard to get, like, you don't always find them. Foul Foots. The four-toed foul foots. These ones are good to have because you can make the silver-toed foul foot and the gold ones. And the gold ones, uh, I think, give you rune acquisition, like a higher rune acquisition. Uh, I don't ever use the sleeping boluses. They're kind of just useless. Um, yeah, I don't use these either, so there's, those are gone. Anything else, yeah, no, that's pretty much it. 
So let's go back to the purchase. Get these twigs. Oops. Down one at a time. The, the preceptor secret. Preceptor. That's the the mage that we fought inside of the tower, Rani, Rainy's Tower. Well, not the Rainy's Tower, but the tower to go get her great room. Revenants. Frenzied Flame Village. I've already been to that place, and I don't think I need this either, so we're just going to skip that. Getting this armor set just to have it, I guess I'm just going to do it. Go ahead and buy these arrows. That's an abundance of these meteor bolts. Um, yeah, cool. So we did that. There's a Trina's Lily right there. Shkaboom. Oh, there's an item right here, too. What the hell is that? It's a bloodhound. Yeah, he had a bloodhound fang and bloodhound claws. Got that guy. Okay, now. I don't know if I have this Sight of Grace that he's talking about. Yeah, there should be a Sight of Grace, like... Let's see. It should be right here. So we're going to go get that side of grace as well. Consecrated snowfield. Okay, now we need to head this way. Okay. And I can't see anything. You know what? We're going to actually... Uh, We're going to go here and rest and make it nighttime. I do need to adjust my settings too because this thing, for some reason, it just seems like it's getting brighter or it resets when I turn it down. Camera speed. Um, Okay, um, let me real quick go through my input. Okay, picture, brightness, turn on the brightness just a little. Tone mapping. And down the tone mapping just a tiny bit. Picture, oh, it's on bright. Let's go to vivid. Uh, go to calibrated dark. No, not calibrated dark. Let's go to game. And ooh, it's on temperature, it's warm. Let's go normal. Uh, aspect ratio normal. Advanced picture. Edge enhancement. Let's go high so it looks better. Uh, let's see. Gamma 2.1. Gaming engine. On HDR. Let's turn the HDR on. So that we have higher control over that. Um, let's see. Contrast. Turn that thing. Okay, let's leave it here. And see how it's, yeah, it's still pretty bright. But we're gonna 
past the time until nightfall, because it'll be darker now that it's nightfall, and, uh, it's not meant to be, uh, great visibility in this area, so we're just gonna go with it. I just gotta be careful, because this place is not just a straight shot down. There are cliffs and dead drops and things that will just kill you. Bunch of enemies. Whoa! There's those things too. See what I mean by cliffs? Um, oh, I've opened this one already. Okay. This side of grace should be, like, right around here. Or maybe I'm not exactly where it is. There it is. Perfect. And you know what, I haven't searched this entire, the entirety of this area either. There is probably a, oh yeah, this map looks a lot cleaner now. Nah, I can see a lot better. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff in this area that I have not personally checked out. Because it's very difficult, like, can't see, there's monsters and crap that pops out of nowhere, like, this area um, is pretty straightforward. Um, there could be things over here that I have not seen yet. Uh, definitely things probably over here that I have not seen yet. Okay. We have the Graven School Talisman as well. That one's not very hard to get obtained. The Great Jar's Arsenal, we have that one. This one is a very long one. We got the Great Shield Talisman. The Green Turtle Talisman we have. see what's next okay so the Halleck Drake talisman is he said it was down uh, where the seaside ruins are. Oh, it's right below them, like right here. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a spirit spring um, right over there. So we just need to get on the torrent and there should be a there it is. I love that it doesn't matter how, you know, close you are, but you should be close enough.
You know what? I've actually been over here before. I'm wondering if I have to fight this guy to get it. That wasn't very tough. Gravitus. That's a cool one. You stab, I think you stab the ground. Yeah, it is the one you stab the ground. That's the one that's on the meteoric or blade. Katana. Okay, uh, so I did that. What's up, Mr. Crab? Whoa, dang, that thing went down quick. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is it? So we got another cave. Wish it was a tunnel, but... This is where the screams are coming from, I think. Whoa. Okay, so we've got the Halle Drake Talisman plus two. The Hammer Talisman. We have the Hammer Talisman. So, let's see, what else? Immunizing horn. Okay, so we have the immunizing horn. We need the... Oh, there's the plus one. It's in the freaking... Uh, the Scarlet Rot Lake. Okay, so we're going to need those boluses, and there's a guy uh, inside the swamp that, uh, it's a fell omen, I think. But he has the item. Okay, so, the ammunition is using horn plus one. Where's the rot swamp? It's over here. Okay, so we need to start from here. He's gonna be somewhere in the middle. So we gotta go in here and guns blazing, man. Get that immunizing horn. So real quick, we're actually gonna equip the other one that we have, this one. And uh, we need the boluses. Uh, let's just deal with fire and these. Uh, let's see. You know what, we're not going to be using this talisman, so, um... I think we're going to wear another, uh, talisman, this one, the modeled necklace. Because this will also raise our, uh, this one, uh, plus one. This will also raise our immunity more, so we're going to raise it just a bit more with that. And as the equipment goes, we're going to wear the mushroom crown. This will raise our immunity even even more because you can see like how much it raises it. Yeah, that's a good like 20 points. So this one 
same thing, but it's like 18. So we're going to wear this just so it raises it just a little bit more. Uh, we got our boluses. Uh, we got our other stuff that we've got. Um, you know what? I'm going to check something really quick because I'm not 100% positive I have a physic or a bubble or a tier, bubble tier, crystal tier, whatever it is. Yeah, crystal tears. I'm not sure I have one that'll raise your uh, your immunity, uh, boost resistance, and heal status, and heals status. Okay, so that one is the one that I need. It'll boost my resistances and it uh, cures my status effect. Yeah, that's the one. So. Um, significantly negates damage received. I wonder if that will work with status effect as well. Or if I should just use this to heal. Yeah, we're going to use that one. So now we're ready, guys. I just am doing all this preparation just because this place sucks. So when I'm at half health, I will heal. At least we can run three... Dang, that's... Seems like it's going a lot quicker than usual. Okay, there's that dude way over there. So we're gonna heal real quick. There we go. Oh, you know what? Let's just... And I'm pretty sure I've been through the lake already. Except, you know, I wasn't fighting, like, enemies, obviously. Because why would I go in here just to fight the enemies? Like, that makes no sense. So, cool. We've got the immunizing horn plus one. The kindred of Roth's exultion. <laughs> uh, we have that one. Right here. Kindred of Rot's Exultion. Poisoning or Rot in vicinity increases attack power. So I'm assuming fighting Melania, because she does Rot damage. Having that equipped would uh, raise your attack power. Having this raise your, uh, your HP with successive attacks. And greatly raise your attack power with successive attacks. So the, all these items, or talismans, are like... Like, super good, man. These two are the ones you want to use if you're trying to uh, protect yourself against status effects of certain kinds, which is, you know, the all these ones are good. Except for these two. I'm not 100%. Uh, oh, it's sleep. Focus uh, keeps you from succumbing to sleep. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, the kindred of rots. Lance Talisman. I think I have the... Yeah, I do have the Lance Talisman. We're getting near the end. We've got the Lightning Scorpion Charm. Um... Right there, yeah. So there's fire, lightning, and sacred. So I'm assuming that there's going to be one for each. Right. 
long tail cat talisman. We already have that one as well. Lord of Blood's Exhaustion, we have that one too. Yeah, I knew this was going to take forever. There's a lot of talismans. Sweet. We have Marty Scarcio. Uh, we need a uh, Radigan Sore Seal. Uh, Scar Seal, I mean, sorry. There's Marcus Sore Seal. We already got that one. That was at the High League Tree. Moon of Noxtella. Yeah, we've got that one. What's next? Modeled necklace. So we've got the modeled necklace and the modeled necklace plus one. So we got that already. We have the old lord's talisman as well. Perfumer's Talisman. Wait a minute. Do we already have it? No, we don't. Okay, so it's in uh, the Perfumer's uh, Perfumer's Ruin. So we're going to go here to the Catacombs. Okay, real quick, let's get out of here. So, this is our goal right over here. So, let's uh, go over here. Now, there is a giant uh, flower over here somewhere. Okay, this is just a shit show. So we're gonna get this guy over here. Oh, we got the Omen Killer arm, armor set. Might as well get the items in this area. Yeah, I'm not putting up with these guys attacking me right now when I'm looking around. Where are you at? Oh, you almost got me. Perfumer's cookbook, nice. We are missing that. I wonder what uh, perfumer thing we can make now. Okay, let's get back on torrent. Oh. Okay, so I saw him in this area, and he went into the ruins right here. But there was supposed to be a giant. Uh, 
Oh, it's over here. I can see it now. So this is the area. And we go down that little rabbit hole. But I want to kill this thing. Really, you had to get that one hit in. Okay. Oh, ooh. Okay, so it's down here. Oh, you know what? Real quick, let me take that stupid thing off my head. Uh, we take this off too, because we don't need it. Um, what did I have over there? Uh, I think I had this. Oh, you know what? No, we had the scarab, because we want more runes. Having that other talisman on there would be really nice, but this is it right here. The Perfumer's Talisman. I don't even know what it does either, so we're going to check that out. Raises potency of perfume items. Nah. Whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to fill up this whole thing. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more, I think, is what's going on. Or, maybe not. I don't know. So the Pearl Drake Talisman, um, we need that one actually. Okay, he went to the Erd Tree Grazing Hill. From right here. And we're going to get on Torrent. And we are going to ride. Okay, so at the very top, he's saying there's a catacomb. Which is weird, because I've already been over here. Which is weird, because I've already been through here. Wait, did he say the plus one? Yeah, it's not the Pearl Drake, it's the Pearl Drake plus one, so I didn't hear him say that this video is going to end in just a second, too. But we've already got the plus one and the plus two, so... He did the Perfumer's Talisman twice. That's funny, he just did this one. The Primal Glintstone Blade.
I knew it. Okay, so we're headed right here. So we've got to come from this one. Wait, who is that? The hermit. Okay. So yeah, we've got to come around. And I, I knew that at the end of that waterfall, like that river, there was a waterfall. And there was not nothing that we could do to go past it. But there is something else to be had from that area apparently there's another uh the glenstone blade talisman and we already have a talisman that raises your attack power uh your sorry your the potency of your sorceries there's two of them actually one that does uh greatly and the other one vastly i think is what it is But we've only got like a few more minutes in this one. Uh, I really wish this wasn't taking so long. Sorry guys, I just... I want to put all of these talismans on uh, video. Just so, you know, we can say that we did it. Because this is a trophy. And I'm assuming we're taking this spring up. Oh, there's a fire blossom, nice. Another fire blossom. Another fire blossom. I need these two. I don't remember this merchant. Have I not gotten this merchant before? Oh no, I've gotten this merchant before. Well, divorce. Yeah, we did need to take that spirit spring. Um, let's go ahead and buy this stuff. This is the knight armor from uh, Dark Souls. Oh, okay. I see what we got to do. I see what he wants us to do. So, we got to take Torrent back over here. Um, there is something other than uh, just simply taking that uh, spirit spring up we've got to actually take it in another direction and try to make it a ridiculous jump but we got to do it we got to do it where is it Oh, we don't have to. I thought he was, like, trying to show me a secret or something, but we just have to get up here. Stargazer Ruins. Okay, so we're going to head through the Stargazer Ruins. And this is where we're going to be headed. Okay, so, uh, we need the jellyfish, and 